Hi everyone, have you ever had fever, flu-like illness, shields or an expansating headache? Then it might be malaria. Check it out in this video. Malaria is another leading cause of death in the world. And about 2,000 cases of malaria are diagnosed in the United States each year. And the vast majority of cases in the United States are with travelers or immigrants coming back from area where malaria is endemic. This is very bad and its awareness is of top importance to the world. Now that you've heard how it affects people, let's know what this malaria is. Malaria is a disease caused by a parasite called the female anopheles mosquito. What the female anopheles mosquito does is that it spreads the parasite to humans through bite of infested mosquitoes. Do you know how to determine if you have malaria in your body? This is called the signs and symptoms. The signs are the physical ones you see, while the symptoms are those ones you feel inside but you can't see them. Now, let me tell you some signs and symptoms of malaria. One, body temperature that is higher than the normal, which is 37. As far as the body temperature is higher than 37 degrees centigrade, that is a warning sign of malaria. Two, shields. Three, general feeling of discomfort. That is, you feel uninterested in things around you. Four, constant headache. Headache that refuses to go after you might have taken home remedies or painkillers. Five, nausea and vomiting. The feeling of throwing up but is not coming out. Six, diarrhea. That is passing out watery stool two to three times a day. 7. Abdominal pain 8. Muscle and joint pain and a lot more Some people who have malaria have cycles of malaria attack An attack of malaria usually starts with shivering, shield, followed by high fever and sweating and finally, the body going back to its normal temperature. But however, some strands of malaria can lie down dominantly in your body without causing any effect throughout the whole year. People who are at high risk of being infected with this malaria parasite are children, pregnant women, and the travelers. Malaria can be very deadly. Let me show you ways of preventing malaria. One, keep a clean drainage. Always try to clean your drainage. Two, use mosquito insecticide treated net. It is very important to prevent mosquitoes bite. Three, Cover your body while sleeping. Don't allow any parts of your body to be open so as to prevent mosquito bite. Four, try to use mosquito repellent either in your house or on your skin. There are mosquito repellents that are good with the skin and it doesn't hurt. How can you be sure you have malaria after experiencing all the symptoms? Preferably, you go to the lab to carry out lab investigation using your blood sample to know the exact malaria parasite that is affecting you. I know you want to know how to treat malaria after knowing all the symptoms and tests for it. Let me tell you the simple medications. One, artemisinin based combination therapy, which we normally refer to as artemetalumefantrin. Secondly, you can also use the chloroquine phosphate to treat the malaria. But it is always advisable to seek the advice of your doctor or health provider to know the best medication to use for you at the stage of your malaria and also at the condition you are either a child, a pregnant woman, or an elderly person because the treatment differs in such. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Thanks for staying tuned till the end. I am Pharmacist God's Gift, also known as the Pharmacist with the Difference. I am a practicing community pharmacist and on this my channel, I talk everything on health and I give top-notch information on drugs to use for minor ailments. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe and ring that notification bell for more educative and interesting videos. 